Well, it's a, it's a beautiful fall day right now. It's about 35 degrees or 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, but uh, I had the time, so I'm gonna do a little fishing. Well, we were up in Canada a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know that uh, I recently invested in the Mega Live, the forward facing sonar, and I've just been dying for another chance to use it. Uh, we used it up in Canada, but you know, you're fishing in a target rich environment, so I, I mean, it was pretty easy to read, pretty easy to use, but now we're back in Minnesota. Uh, so I found a day. Now, granted, it's not the nicest day, but uh, I know this lake has fish in it. It's fall, they should be charged up. I got some big minnows, uh, and I just can't wait to give it a go. Kind of got set up on my spot here. What I'm keying in on is, is some of these weeds, you know, kind of a weed line that kind of breaks off on the end of a point here. So you can see as I swing this mega live, uh, you can see I'm, it's pointed in this direction now, but as I swing through, I'm right on the edge of the weeds. And you can see there's some there's fish here just floating or that are tucked tight. Some of this might be rocks, but you got some fish mixed in there as well. One out here. That are kind of working right on the edge of this weeds uh, and then once we kind of get out past the end of the weeds uh, we start marking more fish so what i've got is i've got two different methods that i'm kind of going after uh, i brought a slip bobber on and then it just a, a jig and a minnow uh, and normally uh, i would love to go after them with a slip bobber just try to drop that big minnow on top of them this time of year but with the wind what it is i'm actually going to start with a jig uh jig and a minnow so Looking at kind of where those fish are, uh, right on the outside of the weed line, I'm gonna start kind of working that area and uh, kind of not necessarily tracking my bait back to the boat, but uh, using this mega live to kind of key in on some of those fish. And as I swing, you can see, you know, there's, it looks like there's one there right there sitting on the outside of the weeds, maybe one or two. So, um, all right, here we go. <clears throat> all right, I didn't have the camera going, but there we go. After about three casts off to those different marks there, come up with my first walleye. So, you know, it's hard to refute the fact that Mega Live is a game changer. So, you know, my, here we go. First one. Uh, and I don't know if I'd have had it without, if it weren't for Mega Live, showing me right where those fish are, just hanging tight outside those weeds. So nice little walleye to start, thanks to Mega Live. So I, uh, turns out that I'm not that tech savvy and I have no idea how the screen, <laughs> screen recording works and I did it wrong. So uh, I apologize. I don't have the shots of uh, the Mega Live and the different things I was talking about during this video, but uh, I'm working on it and it should be better in the future. I noticed I had a few gnarls in my fluorocarbon leader and so I threw my slip bobber out while I was waiting right on top of those fish outside the weeds and it's like something has picked it up. So here we go. Just retying my jig pole here and I'm laying on the bottom of the boat. Threw my slip bobber out in the meantime, and there we go. Second walleye of the day. So, you know, just like I said, normally I, I prefer the jig on a windy day like today just because I can have a little more control over it. But, you know, while I was retying, I, you know, I kind of figured out where those fish are using the Mega Live and just dropped a big minnow on it with the use of a slip bobber. And so there's my second walleye. <laughs> Uh, and it seems to be, I seem to be getting it figured out here. I don't know if I got it or not. I just, I tried to turn the screen recording on my slip bobber. I dropped it on top of a fish and I could see it come up and hit it. So we'll see if, looks like, uh, might be right about there. So we'll see, see if we can get this. I don't know, but there we go. Oh, that ain't what we're after. <laughs> you know, I guess, oh, and he broke my hook. Well, it looks like I got a retie too here now. Um, I'm just gonna let him keep that, but here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see, there's a couple fish. Looks like just kind of close to the boat, so I'm just gonna flip out to him here. Oops, the wind got a hold of that one, but. Let's see. Give us a turn here. They were 
just there they are barely hanging tight to the weeds just outside of them a little bit so it's kind of difficult with the boat swinging the way it is oh got one <laughs> oh yes oh no <laughs> uh, one of those days I'm hoping to be flipping my bait out to walleyes and I'm flipping it out to pike. I've never used the screen recording on my Helix 9 before, so this is my first time. Uh, I don't know how it worked out. Uh, hopefully it worked out well. Uh, if you're seeing this though, it probably didn't, so I'm still working on that. So keep coming back for more. I hope to have to be able to add that into the video. So there we go. Flip bobber was where it's at. Oh, not what I'm after. So, oh, and he broke another one of my hooks off. I think I might need a new leader on this line. Yep. <laughs> you talk to some of the guys that do a lot with uh, the Mega Live, and you know they're telling me that, hey, I could tell the, the size and even the species of fish at times. Uh, I'm just not there yet, you know. Uh, I saw, you know, a fish or two moving through the water. I cast out to them. I have no idea what they are, and clearly, it's not what I'm after. But that's a big part of this learning process: is kind of adding to that mental rolodex of, hey, when I see this, it's this. If I see this, it's weeds. If I see this, it's rocks. If I see this, it's fish. If I see this, it's big fish. You know. So the more I can get out there and use this, I, I feel like the more confident I'm becoming in it and, and you know, deploying it and using it. So uh, I clearly have a long ways to go yet, but hey, I'm out, I'm catching fish, and I'm freezing.